Hey guys, it's Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. This is farm vlog number two. Woo! First of all, I'm not too sure if goats eat potatoes, but uh, I've got some old potatoes that sprouted. I'll show you what we got going here. Uh, these are potatoes that kind of sprouted a little bit. Uh, I used them in a previous video to show you how a macro lens uh, works. But uh, we're going to throw them to the goats and uh, pigs and see what happens. They might eat them, they might not. Check it out. You like potatoes? So let's give everybody some food. You want some food? Anybody want some food? You know, you're kind of shy. You're kind of, you're not very shy. Everybody comes running when it's food time. In case you're wondering what the annoying bells are for, I put bells on the goats so that the coyotes uh, would hear the bells and not uh, attack the goats. And it's worked so far, so we have had no losses to coyotes. And I think it's because this loud bell scares uh, critters away from the house. So that's feeding the goats. Show you again how we move the chicken coop. This is uh, cruising around the farm in the mobile chicken coop. Every day, well, maybe every three days, move this guy. So when I'm off work every day, I like to come out and just give the chickens a little food from my hands so they get a little bit more pettable. Yo, Chucky Chickens. When I feed the chickens, I kind of think of it like a trip to Chuck E. Cheese for the chickens. So I want to talk to you a little bit about where I live and what I live in. There's a big craze about tiny houses right now. This behind me is our uh, 14 by 80 1991 mobile home that I paid $3,500 for. Um, I gutted it and remodeled it just like you do on a tiny house. Now, living in a trailer, a mobile home, isn't cool but living in a tiny house is and you pay forty thousand dollars for a tiny house i think the tiny house craze is stupid when you live in a place like this even a mobile home you just don't have any type of uh storage so we've got three bedrooms i'm uh turning one bedroom into an office uh to do stuff for you guys and um and also stuff for the farm and i i also I have one bedroom for guests. Well, we don't have any storage. Um, the tiny house movement is a bunch of crap. It's stuff to get you watching TV. It, these people want a simplistic life, but I don't think they truly do. I think they just want simplistic attention. That's my take on the tiny house. Tiny house movement is stupid. So if you want a life with nothing and all you do is run around in the yard like a cat, then a tiny house is what's for you. Tiny house living, full of crap just stuff to get ratings on TV. So while we're on the subject of tiny houses, we're gonna actually go down and see my cousin who is living in a tiny house. Now his tiny house, I'm told, is a shed. Basically a portable shed that you move around uh, or put in your backyard to put your lawnmower in or whatever. I think we're gonna go see him tomorrow. Uh, it's supposed to be pretty weather, so check tomorrow's uh, video. We're, we're gonna have a visit to a tiny house, a redneck style tiny house in Axton, Virginia. I don't want to say redneck is a derogatory term. I mean a southern gentleman living in a adaptable homestead shed, tiny house. So not redneck is in like derogatory, but redneck is in, I live in a tiny house and I have holes in the wall for electrical cords to run through and stuff. I don't know what his house is like. We'll, we'll have to check it out. I really don't know what it's like. So kind of excited to go see it. I'm gonna give him a call in just a little bit in tomorrow's video. I'm gonna post a link to it Boop! right there, I think. Yeah, yeah right there uh, will be a link to it and you can click it and check out my cousin's tiny house. Uh, kind of excited now. All right, Woo. I, I do have eggshells in the garden and if you don't know, boop, that's eggshells and that's eggshells. Eggshells, eggshells. I, uh, eggshells, eggshells. Boop. So, you might look behind me and, well, shit. Uh, shit. So while we're on the subject of, uh, take 70. So in order to use everything on the farm, 
uh, we throw nothing away. Um, we put eggshells on the garden, and these eggshells came from my friend's mom, who is a uh, runs a local bakery. She saves all her eggs for me, and we compost them, put them in the garden, so our tomatoes are delicious. So while we're on the subject of eggshells in your garden, which eggshells are here, eggshells are here, I wanted to tell you that the reason we have eggshells in the garden is because uh, it helps prevent blossom end rot. So if you grow tomatoes, if you grow like cucumbers, squash, other types of vegetables that get blossom end rot, a uh, master gardener told me that uh, blossom end rot is caused by uh, um, a calcium deficiency in the soil. <coughs> So you guys may end up seeing me in sunglasses for the next few videos because uh, my wife punched me in the eye last night. I call it being love struck. Have uh... so I've got a lot of rocks on the farm. I got a guy that comes down and gets rocks. His name is Don. Don the rock guy. Don comes down and gets rocks and brings me a load of mulch. I'm gonna mulch this area right here because it's kind of a crappy little spot um, where the land doesn't lay very smooth. Uh, so we're gonna straighten that out and. Uh, have a pretty place. So living on a farm you get a lot of accumulated junk. This is an old uh, tobacco trailer that's on the farm and there's really no reason for me to keep this trailer. It's kind of a turd. It's kind of all the pieces. So um, a lot of the stuff I do is uh, put stuff on Craigslist. Uh, this thing right here I'll put it on Craigslist for 60 bucks. I'll sell it for 50 bucks. Found it on the farm out in the middle of the woods. It's got a nasty flat tire. <laughs> got me a flat tire here. <laughs> Whatever. I don't need it. I'm going to get rid of it. Dog and cat interaction. Look at the love. So a little backstory on the cat. We went up to Amish country about three weeks ago and they gave us this cat. Well, it was the sweetest little cat. Rubbed on your legs. It was nice. But what I'm finding is the stupid cat won't stay off the tripod right here. So here I'm dealing with cat shaking tripod. It sucks. I understand why they gave us the cat, because the cat sucks, because he's too sweet. Nobody likes a nice cat. Maybe I'm being a little anal. We'll come on down to the Stony Ridge, bring your wife and bring your 